Mr. Awesa's concern follows a published statement by the newly appointed provincial administrator. He says most contractors have been receiving full payment with no show of work. Awesa says these are public funds and contractors must complete their work. Support the call by Major Mr. Jerry David, where most contractors over the years in Southern Islands have gotten money, most of them 100% upfront payments without doing any work. And so, in that regard, I, I support the call by uh, our new administrator. He went on further stating contractors who continue to do this must be questioned. The concerned individual says these matters must be reported to the police. He says millions have been wasted with people suffering as the end result. The matters we refer to police. I urge Mr. Song, if he's serious about what he's saying on the paper, to contact ACP Crimes, Mr. Ojesete, and get to the bottom of it. Because we cannot allow companies, two kinder companies, five kinder companies, to come into Southern Islands, do half jobs, do no jobs, steal the money and run away. On a similar matter, Mr. Wesser spoke of the incomplete work on Mendy Airport. He says it's been five years with the progress work rated as 46% by the National Airports Corporation. Mr. Wesser demanded answers as Southern Highlanders continue to travel to Mount Hagen, Tari or Wabeg to get on a plane. Post Korea, what is this Post Korea? You will see that uh, all the airports in Papua New Guinea are mentioned, except for Mendy. When you flip the back page, you see that Mendy Airport is only 46.5%. It's not even halfway, it's not even 50%. I think Mendy was one of the first projects on the Kadip to be undertaken, and it's taken five years and nothing to show on the ground. Jack Lopau, Jr., National MTV News.